the most prestigious film festival in Africa. I'm talking about the Africa International Film Festival, AFRIF, with this year's theme saying Indigenous for Global. It has been a week long of training, lectures and movie screening. And today some important and prestigious movies will be going home with some award plaques. My name is Ahina Arta and I'm here to bring you the highlights of this event so keep watching our forever TV don't go anywhere so we're here for the final day of Afrif 2022 did you attend any of the panel sessions? all of them all of them master classes panel discussions networking sessions I've barely had four, five or four hours of sleep every day since Afrif started. So yes, and I have two films in selection, um, Hell Ride and Kofa. Kofa happens to be one of the best films I've seen from out of here. I can't wait for people to see it. Um, so at Hell Ride, I, di I didn't catch the screening, you know, because um, there was another, a different class going on at the time. So, so yes, I also got great feedback for Hell Ride. So I'm excited. I'm happy for what uh, this year's Afrif would, has done for the industry. And I guess by 2023, we'll start to see results. Is there any movie you saw during the festival because you attended that you're hoping will go home today with a plaque? Um, yes, I saw the Almagiri yesterday. I was not able to see the other films during the week. Um, I attended a few uh, panel discussions, but not movies. But yes, yesterday I watched the Almagiri and honestly, it's giving me hope. Uh, because uh, Almagiri is a northern story. I, gr I grew up in the north. Um, I'm from the middle belt. So... For them to have put together this kind of story, it's, it's made me proud as a Nigerian because this is, a, this is an original Nigerian story. So, you know, what makes this year stand out for you? This year we have the international market involved. I mean, like I'd say, it's a bridge. It's becoming a bridge between us and the rest of the world. And I mean, like I was at so many panels and there was so much to sponge and take in. And it was a great scenario. And I mean, like, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying like it's, like, it's clear that Nigerian industry is growing and the opportunities are becoming what it is now and Afrif is like a platform for we to exhibit and connect with the rest of the industry Do you know what I'm saying? I saw uh, Flossom and I like that and then the sessions like I said yesterday's uh, topic was the most interesting for me because it's about how we want to the rest of the world to see our you know con yes our industry and see what it feels like or what it is like to be an African so that was very interesting for me. Your film got an, a nomination. Can you tell us about it? So our film is called Journey to Justice. It's a documentary film. Uh, we did Conrad Adenauer Stiftung, Good Karma Fiction, and Kenyatta University School of Law. And it, it just, it's a film on access to justice, where communities champion for their rights, and eventually they win their cases. So it's, that's, that's the long and short of our film. We well, partnered with Afri yes. to make this year's yes. festival happen. Yeah. So tell me, why did you partner with Afri? And not only this year, but for from the very beginning. Yeah. Every year we partner with Afri and provide assistance in one way or another. This year we provided assistance for a competition among young youth uh, animators. Yeah. And so there'll be, a, uh, there'll be some awards later tonight on the top five short animation films. Wow. Last year we did training in animation. And, and the year before, we've done other uh, investments. But we think AFRIF is a hugely important event, and we want to be a part of it every year. I attended a few panel sessions. Unfortunately, I couldn't go over any of the master classes, but I attended a few panel sessions and, um, yeah, like two screenings. It was like three screenings, actually. It was awesome. Too good. The panels were just a bunch of people breaking things down to us, like how to pitch your film, you know, what to do, how to pitch your story, you know, all that stuff. And... It was great hearing it from these guys who've been doing it for years, giving us the key codes yeah. and the secrets of, of how to do it right, you know. I'm so grateful to them, all of them who came out, Toyosi, and uh, the, too many people to start mentioning. Let's not even go there. Did you get the chance to attend any of the panel session or even screen any, any movie? I did a lot of the panel sessions because I felt like that's where my focus should be. I could always watch the films anytime. Uh, the panel sessions stood out for you? I like the master classes for acting. Um, I love the how to pitch for your project. Um, you know, just understanding the passion of the people and how to channel, you know, your energies into very productive ways. 
Hey guys, what's up? What's happening? You know, Afrif is a place where the stars of all stars gather. And I'm glad to have Ufoma here with me. How would you describe filmmaking in Nigeria? Um, it's a good time to be a filmmaker in Nigeria. It's a good time. It's the time when all the years, you know, are being rewarded. It's the time when, you know, you know, like the Bible says, seed time and harvest time would not cease. There's been seed time. Seed time was very long. And this is kind of like harvest time. The world is taking notes. The big studios are coming here. And guess what? It is an industry that is still standing against all odds. Well, tell me the highlights of the event for you. Ah, there was there was a lot of them. Uh, I love the acting workshop by Jeremy Zimmerman, and then I liked uh, the the panel uh, sessions with uh, um, Wangi, uh, the one with uh, uh, filmmakers like uh, Zulu. I love the films. I love the documentaries by my friend Jide, When a Farm Sets Ablaze. That was uh, a beautiful one, and then Okihi by um, uh, by Otiti by Emma Edosio. Now, seeing the recognition we are getting globally. How does that make you feel as a pioneer? It's, it's a work in progress. Um, you can't be happy with everything, but you can be happy with the growth. So I am very happy with the growth. What are you not happy with? We can be here from now to tomorrow. Just one All right. Um, no, no. OK, so most of the things I'm not happy with aren't um, things that I, I can articulate. But if I was to sum it up, it's just the need for more growth, which is what platforms like this is for. Good movie lovers and critics praising your movie. How does it make you feel? Uh, it makes me feel good. I mean, uh, yeah. so what it means is that Nigerians are open to good stories. Once you put in the quality, you put in the work, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be you doing stand-up comedy or you doing movies that reflect comedy. Just tell a good story that people can connect with. And Amajiri is a very uh, sensitive one at that. And of course, we know that it's beginning to raise conversations concerning, oh, is there why I'm going to get away with this or what have you. But I know that if the truth is there to be told, if you need to create that awareness, create it globally, let people know what is wrong is wrong, what is right is right. What were the highlights of this year's events for you? Um, I think it was just seeing the, the, the quality of the programming, you know, the amount of stuff that was happening in terms of, you know, all the different brands, all the different platforms that were doing things at AFRIF, the different events, the different premieres. So just the whole thing is impressive and, you know, 11 years, it's a lot, right? So yeah. I'll give a lot of respect to Choma Ode and her team, you know, really happy, proud of them and what they're doing. How do you feel that it's climaxing today? So today I feel great that it's about to end so I can rest. That's one. Yeah. Secondly, I just answered to one of the reporters that my best moment was a particular panel. But I'm also going to say that my best moments are the moments when individuals come to me to say thank you, to say this is so impactful, to say last year I was here, this year I'm here. So we know we're doing the right thing and we hope we continue to do more and to do better. The journey to the 11th edition of the Africa Film International Film Festival, which started on the 6th of November, is truly a breathtaking experience. From world-class masterclasses to breathtaking premiums, and the past few days have been nothing short Unexciting. Here is a recap of the moments that have made this 2022 edition of AFRIF truly global. And the uh, winner is. They call it, why can't you wave? Wave the shout. It was created in his honor. This award has been created for film students across the country. Ladies and gentlemen, to present the awards for Ben Shaw Film.
please let's welcome two of Nollywood's emerging forces, Puma Agori and Sandra Okonzola. for May 27th, right? That's the title. Yeah, okay. Uh, my plan for May 27th is just to, because I made this film for the world, it's just to keep pushing, keep pushing. Yeah, uh, we're working on a series. Uh, that, that is not even next year, but we're working on a series to make it like um, a mini series for May 27th to really dig more about, uh, about rape. Yeah, to really dig more. The things people think that is just easy, just to say, but it's, it's not easy. It's really hard there. Yeah. What word would you use to describe it? When I, okay, when I call the name of the film, what comes to your mind? Okay, Anikula. Men has come. Wow. Ella uh, Shinoba. I love our culture. Almajiri. <laughs> Ewa is a boss. <laughs> okay. Um, Nani. I just, I love that one. Excellence. <laughs> okay, no problem. That's good. Okay, Flossom. Blossom. Awesome. Awesome, baby girl. <laughs> it, it, it's four awesome ladies. That's what I see. But when I call your name, tell me the first word that comes to your mind. Oh, so let's start with Ella Shinoba. Nigerian. <laughs> Nani. Um, opening premiere. Okay, Almajiri. 
closing premiere. Ani Kulapo. Great film. Nice. Hi guys, it's Shine Rossman, the actor, director. Hey guys, just think of me as an entertainer in general because that is what I am. I'm here at the AFRIF Awards show. Tune in and stay tuned. Mwah.